New, 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 new. New, 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 new. All right, this new. week. Got some products. Hammerheaders. Yeah, yeah, shipment from Pimeroni. We got some of these uh, male plug hammerheaders. So we sell the kit where you get like the plastic pieces, but you know, maybe you have a vice or maybe you already have a piece of plastic or you have a jig or you're just, you just want to try doing it yourself. We have the hammer headers. They have these little nubs so that you can uh, gently but uh, securely hammer them into a PCB like a Pi Zero and uh, basically add headers with no soldering. It's uh, very secure. It works quite well and it, it makes a cold weld. So, uh, you know, as long as you don't like pry on it and you know which would break a soldered connection anyways uh it works quite well so we have the male yeah. headers and, and we have these socket headers as well good for classrooms they can't solder yeah so if you I'll can't solder, solder it, this is available so you can you know uh, uh uh you can hammer this into a raspberry pi zero and then you can plug wires into it if you want to you know use it with a breadboard that makes it a lot easier or you can hammer it into like a hat or a bonnet or a fat or whatnot and plug it in directly there as well okay I'm gonna show them on the overhead or something? Yeah, this is just the parts, and then they come like this. And then, uh, let me show you this, and I'll zoom in. I'll focus in on this. So you can see there's these little uh, nubs. So when you hammer, they, they squish in, and then they expand into the hole to make a, a solid connection. So they're, they're special, but they work quite well. Okay. So there you go. Next up. It's a screen. Ooh, this is the Hyperpixel. We ordered these a while ago Hyperpixel. and they finally showed up. So this is a very high resolution screen for um, the Raspberry Pi. It works with a, any two by four, the two by 20, the 40 pin GPIO uh, headered Pies. And uh, this one has a capacitive touch screen as well. You can't see it. It's actually like underneath, which is kind of neat. And I've got the demo over here. Okay, I'll go over here. Show, yeah. So it went to sleep, but you know, you have a capacitive touch screen. It's very high res. So it's 800 by 480 and it's like IPS, which is a very, very nice screen. Yeah, these are used for, you know, tablets and, and phones and stuff. There's one trade off. Uh, it's very, very fast. It's high resolution and it's uh, lots of color, but it uses every GPIO pin pretty much. So you can't use this if you wanted to uh, connect the I squared C device or buttons or whatnot. You, there's just all the, all the pins are used. It's all like. Interface and OS, like it's all interface yeah. because basically the DPI we have the DPI uh, yeah. um, Keepa, which is like you know it's not a hat because again, it uses all of the pins. Um, uh, all of those uh, pins are used for the DPI display. I mean, it was really neat that the, the Pipe Foundation uh, exposed the interface, but it uses like 18 pins for color and then six pins for interface. But you add it all up, and basically all the pins are used. Yeah. So um, this, that's the only trade-off. So if you want something. That yeah, connects to hardware, you'll not need to connect via USB. You get the USB connection, but yeah, all the GPIO are used. So this is a nice little screen. Okay. So check it out. We have a bunch in stock. All right. Uh, the star of the show tonight, besides our community and you, Lady Ada, is the Seesaw Board. This is the uh, at SAMD09, very low cost Cortex M0, pre programmed with our Seesaw firmware. This is for our development, but we release this for you. So you. you other people who are developers, or maybe you want to add I squared C uh, to analog the, the, the PWM NeoPixel to your board. Um, I have a little demo I can show off, and I chatted at, about this earlier, so you watch the whole show. But basically, this chip is an I squared C to you know just about anything interface. So um, this is a Metro, and I'm connected only to I squared C to the chip, and the chip has the our firmware that does. Um, you know, this, for example, is doing PWM, so it's like slowly pulsing this LED up and down. Um, this is a GPIO input, and then this is a separate output, so it's reading it and then telling it to light the LED. And then it also has a NeoPixel output, so if your microcontroller doesn't have NeoPixel hardware support, um, but it has I2C, you can use this. It also has analog digital input, so it can read this potentiometer and uh, light up the pixels in multiple colors. So it's a NeoPixel output, analog input. So this is a little all-in-one demo showing the hardware capabilities. You get basically, uh, I think, like eight or 10 pins to do whatever you want, and all over I2C. So it's a really nice little Swiss Army knife, uh, I2C to PWM, GPIO, uh, it has EEPROM, analog digital inputs, and NeoPixel. And of course, if you want to write more Seesaw code, uh, it's programmable. You with the J-Link, you can make your own uh, custom build with whatever peripherals you want. Okay. 
So that was new products, Lady Ada. Let's do our recap. new product recap. New, new, new. Let's do it. Okay, we have these uh, hammer headers. These are solderless headers. You can gently hammer into your Raspberry Pi Zero, or uh, you also have the um, female socket version, and you would hammer this into your Pi Zero or into your bonnet or hat or whatever. So basically, if you don't have a soldering iron or you don't want to use a soldering iron, uh, you don't have to. Just hammer these in, and you can plug and play. So it makes a cold well very strong mechanical connection. We have the Hyperpixel from Pi Moroni. This is an 800 by 480 capacitive touchscreen. Plugs into your Raspberry Pi, works with any Pi that has a 2 by 20 connector. It does use every GPIO, however, but it's extremely fast, 60 frames per second, 18-bit color. So very beautiful capacitive touchscreen display. And we have the Seesaw, our, our I2C to PWM, GPIO, analog digital conversion, NeoPixel, EEPROM, etc. It's a sort of anything to I2C converter, great for your Raspberry Pi, ESP266, or other board that doesn't have analog digital converters, PWM, NeoPixel, etc. Very handy Swiss Army knife little board. Add more hardware to your hardware. And that's new products, Lady Data. New, new, new.